That bag is so heavy. Jesus. Okay, I'm live officially. Because why not? Y'all probably heard that. That was pretty loud. Motorcycles trying to make it up the hill. I wait for people to show up per usual. It's six oh one, so I'm I'm on time. I don't know where my receipt is, but I know I got fifty items for a little over sixty dollars. So I did pretty good. Um, how has your guys' day been? It's so awkward just waiting for people to show up. Thank you to the two people that are here. I do appreciate it a lot. Mwah. Hopefully YouTube sent out the notification. Um, and three bags. And then there's so much stuff that I'm going to fold it up and put it in this bag as I go because I just do not have time to be trying to pick up all that stuff off the ground. Thank you, Debbie. They, these are my like fourth pair of blue light blocking glasses. And probably my favorite pair so far. Hopefully YouTube sent out my notification. I said that. Yeah, hopefully they did. It's not looking like they did. And hello, Nani next. Um, I'll start at like the two and a half minute mark because I'm not going to postpone forever, right? But yeah. Yeah, I got them on Amazon. Um, I could probably, I could probably find you the link. And they're, they're like under $10. They're blue light blocking glasses. They're really, these are my favorite ones. They're probably the sturdiest ones I've had so far. Um, I had a pair, but I took them to the thrift store and accidentally, well, I guess not accidentally. I took them off at the thrift store and left them there. So I had to come home and buy another pair. But these ones are pretty affordable. I think they're like eight bucks or something like that. Oh, you didn't get a notification? Yeah, I feel like they didn't send out a notification because there's only nine people here. And usually there's more people here by now, but it's fine. Hello, Andrea. And hello, Right Dreamer. I'm going to go ahead and start, though, because, um, like I said, I can't wait forever. I wish I had some chapstick. That would be beautiful. Let's see. Nope. Not that lucky, right? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start, though. <laughs> Hello, Desi's Boutique. Oh, you got a notification? Okay, good. Okay, so I guess some of you guys did, some of you guys didn't. YouTube, she does what she wants, right? She does what she wants. Um, Yeah, the snow has... I just drug in these three bags from my car. And it's pretty cold outside, surprisingly. Thank you, Desi's Boutique, for the compliment. It's been straight in since Thursday. I'm, like, ready to, like, have my curly hair back, though, low-key. Like, straight hair, she's cool, but it's not me. Like, I miss, I miss my curly hair. Hi, JoJo. Thank you, guys. Good evening. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and start. I got... Um, if you're new here, which you're probably not, I'm Shailene, I'm 22, and I resell full-time on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari, and I do these hauls every Monday at 6 p.m. EST. I'm going to take those off because I'm not a fan of that glare. Um, I do these hauls every Monday at 6 p.m. EST, and just show you guys what I bought and what I'm going to be listing during the upcoming week. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hi, Amber. Hi, Tina. Oh, Jojo, your mom's with you. Hello, Jojo's mom. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start. I got 50 items for a little over $60. I know the deals. Jaw drops. I know. So, um, pants, skirts, blazers, dresses i have not found dresses in a while i really think that my thrift store has been stockpiling um the strapless dresses the sleeveless dresses the summer dresses because they have not been out and then this week 
there were like so many dresses it was ridiculous so i'm happy because i love dresses but yeah okay i'm gonna go ahead and start um i got three bags i got this this is so heavy this bag which is full of i think pants and skirts and then i got some blazers and then some other stuff but yeah spent a little over 60 dollars 50 items She's a good haul, you know, I will definitely make my money back. Um, we'll make much more than $60, which is the goal. We love profit. Okay. Uh, okay. This is plus size, which is why I got it. It's requirements. Um, and it is a yellow tweed blazer. Y'all know I love blazers. It's a 24W, so that's like a 2X, 3X. There goes the tag. Might be a vintage tag, probably is. Um, it's just a yellow tweed blazer. I'm not a fan of this little floral brooch, 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 whatever, but it's removable, which is great. Versatile. But there goes that. It's yellow, black, gray. It has a little bit of a sparkle thread in it, like a little bit of a gold, but not too much. Um, Morona plaid blazer. She's cute. We'll probably realistically sell around $15, but I paid 80 cents. So it's fine. Size 10 Morona sold at Target. Single button. It's like navy blue, green, orange. I might kind of speed through these just because I have way more than I usually have. Um, but yeah. Uh, this is, I don't know what this brand is. Do, do, per, do, per, do, I don't, <laughs> it's D-U-E-P-E-R-D-U-E. -E -E. It was 80 cents. I just go ahead and take this tag off so you guys can actually see it. Yeah, because if I don't know what it is, uh, I'm not paying more than 80 cents for it. There goes that tag. Don't know what she is. Eight petite, but I just thought the blazer was cute. She's cute. I think she's cute. It's like blue, like different shades of blue. I really like the print um, or pattern. I always get those mixed up. I don't know what's what. She's just polyester, but it's it's whatever. I paid 80 cents. It doesn't even matter. She could sell for $15. I'll be fine. Um. Oh, I got a coat. I just sold, if you guys remember, she just washed me out my lamp. Why is she doing me dirty like that? If you guys remember that really cute pink Talbot's coat that I got, that sold, thankfully, on Sunday for yesterday. It sold for $50 on eBay, and I paid, I think, 3 bucks for that coat. This is a Zara coat. It's really long. I think this is Zara. Yeah, Zara Woman. This looks like an older tag. Um, it's a wool nylon cashmere blend. And it's a size 6. There goes the tag. It needs lint rolled. Um, how much did I pay for this? I paid $15, but then 20% off of 15 So, over 10 probably, but it's a really nice wool nylon. I'll put wool cashmere blend in the title. A uh, solid black coat. So it's definitely worth the, worth the money. I'll probably list it for like 75. And we'll see what it sells for. Um, Yeah, Blazer Queen. <laughs> I love blazers. Nobody else buys them. So I do. But they take up a lot of room, and we're getting to where I should probably slow down, but I'm not going to. I, I pro I'll i start to when it starts getting hot, but it just started getting cold here. I live in Ohio. I live in Ohio. Sorry, I keep stumbling over my tongue. And the weather is, like, all over the place here. It's 23 degrees here right now. And it's just, like, it does whatever it wants to do. I'm not going to button this up because it's taking me too long. But this is really cute. Hello. This is really cute. Hi, Lindy. 
Um, it's like a mauvey pink and blue plaid button front blazer. It's vintage Alfred Dunner, but it was 80 cents. But I just think it's really cute. So I got it. And that's how that goes. Um, okay. Getting into, this looks like dresses. Most of these I got for 80 cents. Y'all know the drill. Uh, this is Fashion Nova. I got this for $2. It's new with tags. Size. Small. Originally $40. And usually Fashion Nova, like, you can find the style names um, from the tag or whatever. And find stock photos. And I've never had a problem with them taking my stuff down. I'm, like, trying to... Because it's, like, a blazer. But it's, like, it's got, like, a like a open detail. I can't really like explain it. Sorry. It's like really confusing. I seen Fashion Nova new with tags for like under $5 and I was like, sure, I'll buy it. Yeah. Okay. So it's like a sleeveless blazer with kind of like a cape. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what it is. It has this cape detail and a little like cap sleeve. Definitely. I'm going to need a stock photo. Uh, skirt. I think this is Forenza. Forenza, size 2. 80 cents. Cute little skirt. Um, Express, size 10. Houndstooth, black and white. Pencil skirt, midi length. Good little, like, business casual ting. Um, let me like reaching in this bag. I think this is, oh, this is the limited extra small plaid. I wasn't going to get it, but I was like, why not? <laughs> like I need to boost my listings. Um, and I thought the chain detail like added something different, but it's the limited and the limited is low key a resale flop. But she was 80 cents, so why not? <sighs> Am I closer to Dayton, Cleveland, or Toledo? I'm closer to Cleveland, like an hour from Cleveland. This is Tahari Arthur S. Levine, size 14, so it's an extra large. There goes the tag. And it's a cute little, this will get listed for $25. Green of uh, Fit and Flare with a three-fourth sleeve and it has like a little ruched detailing on the sleeve she's basic i have so many items god and i'm only just now getting started plus size please i know debbie and you know what i was just thinking about that my thrift store i like i wonder why i don't find too many plus size my thrift store actually like separates the plus size and the plus size has their own spot in the thrift store and I never look at it. Um, because like part of me is like, I don't want to like buy what is at the thrift store for the big girls. You feel me? Um, I'm like, I, I want them to, you know, you go shop, you do your thing. I don't want to take from, them, you know, but I have like hella plus size stuff. From my own closet. It's it's all in that bin. It's just not listed. Um, oh, it'll get listed eventually. This is Zara Woman. I had a dress like this that sat forever, so I don't know why I bought this one, but it's, you know, you never learn from your mistakes. Um, it's a size small, and it's a black crepe, like crepe material shift dress, and it has this open sleeve. The one I had was a slit sleeve. Like it had, leave me alone. Like it had, um, you know, a opening closure, opening closure. And it took forever to sell and it sold for like $10. So, uh, we'll see what happens with this. You were an 18. I wear an 18 too. So I just need to list some of my stuff to help you. I'm sorry, Debbie. <sighs> You wish you were smaller. Why? I, I wish I was like a size 16, but that's about it for me. I'll, I'll take a 16. That's it. Um, this is... 
have so much stuff in this bag. This is a Banana Republic. This is a really old tag, but I thought the skirt was cute. Banana Republic Factory, size 10. And it is just a cute little plaid pencil skirt. I need to start putting things on auction again. I used to have 40 items on auction, and then they sold, and I ended some of them. But I have, like, 10 on auction right now. I want to get it back up to, like, 40, 50. That would be nice. This is a Banana Republic. It's a zero, zero petite. It is an outlet item, but that's fine. It's a sleeveless, belted, this is navy blue and white tweed dress. Cute. What is going on right here? I'm gonna have to fix this belt. It's like twisted wrong, but yeah, you get the picture. She's a sleeveless mini dress, sleeveless sheath mini dress, zero zero petite. She's tiny. Um, I got this for myself, but I probably, look, Debbie, look, you were just saying. I got this for myself, but I probably won't keep it. It's an 18. It's an extra, extra large, which is, yeah, like an 18. Um, it's Target, and it's this velvet dress. It's long sleeve. She's cute. I'll probably try her on, but where am I going? Where am I going? Nowhere. The bag is getting full. Aw, oh, thank you, Jen. Oh, you like the, the black dress was a small, Debbie. It's not 18. Did my Play-Dohs have 90% off? I don't know. I don't go there. I do not go there. Since I used to work for Clothes Mentor, they're owned by the same person and they're right next door to each other. And it's just, I don't know, sometimes it's kind of awkward going in there. And definitely going to Clothes Mentor or Play-Dohs Closet. I'm going to be paying up for stuff. And I really like paying 80 cents for things. You know, it's just so appealing to me. It really gets me going. Um, it's beautiful. And clothes matter, play with closet. Oh, and, and on top of that, our clothes matter, play with closet, they don't really do 90% off sales. Because when those stores do 90% off sales, they're typically taking like a loss. Um, and nobody wants to take a loss. So, <laughs> um, Oh, okay, Debbie, that makes sense. Um, wear it to the thrift store. <laughs> I'm not going to wear this to the thrift store. I go to the thrift store, like, pajama pants, sweatpants. I'm wearing, I wore this to the thrift store yesterday, and I'm wearing them today. The Dickies pants that I got last week, I don't know if you guys remember them. Somebody said they were like, a 42 is going to be too big. Baby girl, they fit perfectly. Um... But I'm wearing those today, and they're hella comfortable. Um, hi, Supreme Thrifting Queen. Sorry, I'm, like, trying to read the comments, but also, like, have a lot of stuff. This is Tarte, and I was going back and forth on whether or not I should buy this because it's velvet and it's Tarte, which is a Junior's brand, but it's 80 cents, so I had to buy it. I didn't have to buy it, but, you know. She's velvet, though long sleeve gray bodycon cute hopefully she sells i've definitely been trying to pick up less juniors items but some of them are cute this is land's end size 10 short sleeve sheath dress with pockets She's a uh, black and maroon. I always get maroon and burgundy mixed up. Another dress. I really like this one. I don't know what this brand is. It's called The Prairie by Rachel something. The Prairie by Rachel something. I don't know. It was 80 cents and it's a it's a cute um you guys can't see that for shit. 
Girl, I'm sorry. This lamp doesn't like me. The Prairie by Ra oh, Rachel Ashwell. Good. Now that I'm in the light. Rachel Ashwell. Uh, it's a size small. I don't know if it's wool or anything, but it's a uh, tie front. No, it's acrylic. Acrylic nylon. It has a little bit of wool in it. Um, it's a long sleeve tie front like sweater dress. I think it's really cute. It's a really pretty green color. Yeah, it's really cute. Don't know anything about the brand though. Um They have like dang she fancy. <laughs> uh do I watch Yamila? No, who is Yamila? Can you drop her? Um does she have a YouTube channel? Do I use a cross-listing app? I do not use a cross-listing app. I open every listing in a new tab. I go through each photo and I drag and drop it to my desktop. And then I go to whatever website I'm cross-listing to. And I open five to 10 new listing tabs. And then I drag and drop all of those. I do them one by one. I don't like drag all the photos to one, drag all the photos to the second one. I do them listing by listing. Oh, she does stripper vlogs. Oh yeah. Cause we were talking about that last week. No, I do not watch Yamila. I watch, um, uh, Jasmine Black. That's who I watch. My lamp hates me. Jasmine Black and this other girl. Um, and it's rarely, I watch a lot of, if you guys, you guys are on YouTube now, so maybe you guys watch other YouTube videos. Hi Ho Kids is, I could watch it for hours. It's so funny. They have like kids and they meet a firefighter or um, a deaf person or a librarian or they just, or they try different foods and it's hilarious and it's so good. Um, but if you ever just need something to put on, I watch that a lot. I have on Darwin's game in the background. If anybody's interested in anime and has Funimation, it's simulcast. So um, it's in English right now. Like it's dubbed over, but it's just like Gantz. Oh my gosh. And Gantz was, she was beautiful. Gantz was beautiful. I mean, what can we say? Um, a lot of y'all are like, I don't know what she's talking about, but Oh, anime. She just like Gantz. I just, I have, I still have a lot of questions about her, but the animation's so bad. Gantz is such an old anime, but she's good. She's good. Okay. Um, thank you, Erica. And hi, M. Bernard. Thank you for joining my vlog. Not my vlog. <laughs> my live stream. I'm going to continue. I got a lot of pants. I think these are folded. So let me take them out because they need to stay folded. Um, they, my thrift store had, I guess, some type of sale on Saturday. And they had all of their dollar pants set to the side. And I was about to check out. And um, another reseller I know... I had seen her she was like you're leaving already and I was like yeah and then I was like there's some pants over there like I might go through them but I don't know and I went through a rack and I was like I'm happy I went through these pants um but yeah that's that's my story that nobody asked for anyways I did get some corduroys fight me if you want to it's fine uh these are Calvin Klein size six they're purple and they're corduroys but they're like more of like a skinny mm, not a skinny more of a straight but i think they're nice i don't have any purple corduroys for sale so i got these we'll get listed for 25 um i think these are talbots yeah talbots 12 petite and these are a wide leg black pant like a dress pant. They're really nice. And they're like a stretch. Those will get listed for probably $25.30. Talbot's pants are really expensive. Um, nobody, oh, nobody's ever happy to see me at the thrift store. 
Uh, there's there's like two people who go to my thrift store, and I'm not even gonna tell that story. We're not even gonna tell that story. But I don't think anybody's ever too happy to see me at my thrift store either. But hey, we all got the same opportunities. Maybe you should have been here at 11 when I got here. And ain't got nothing to do with me. Uh, this is Ralph Lauren Sport, size 12. Here goes the tag. These are navy blue corduroy. Probably will sell on eBay. I feel like Ralph Lauren and Lauren Ralph Lauren do better there. And Polo in general, like that whole, you know, spiel. These are cute. These are J. Crew outlet. They're size 24. But they're a green, skinny, um, like a velveteen. Yeah, a velveteen. Cute. Seen these right before I was going, and they reminded me of Diamond Loaded Cart Co. If y'all follow her, um, they're these Adidas pants, and I was like, why not? They're 80 cents. They have the three stripes on the side. They're black. Um, and they're a U.S. medium. They're not. What vintage is 20 years. What is retro? Is retro like 10 years or something like that? But they're like, you know, little track pants. And I've never sold anything like that before. So I was like, why not? I was looking at this price, like, but I, I'm pretty sure she charged me the right price. Thank you. I hope they sell. Oh, you're not on eBay yet, JoJo? What's going on? Find some time. Get some items up. These are a really old <laughs> Lynette, Lynette, Nanette Lepore. There goes the tag. They were 80 cents. I don't know if these are going to sell, but I was like, why not? Let's try it out. They're like this blue and black. You guys can see that? Kind of like stripe pinpoint design. And they're a wide leg pant. They're <laughs> they're they're old. They're old. Look, that's what the Ooh! I beeped when I left the store and I was I didn't know what went off. It was these. Alright. I have look, I have these. I have a pair of Vineyard Vines pants over there. And a Betsy Johnson dress. I'm there every week, but somehow I always forget to take these items back. Well, I saw a paw right here, and I'm grabbing more shit. These are Joe Fresh. I don't know where they sell Joe Fresh at. Probably like JCPenney's. But they were 80 cents, and they're like a gray spandex stretch, like legging pant. Um, These are... Uh, New York and Company. Pant. These are like really a uh, slippery. Like, who is texting me? It's really not making sense. Uh, these are Hollister size one. They're like a wax front skinny jean. Don't know how these are going to do. Wax front skinny jean in the back is like a like a velveteen pretty much. Burgundy. Oh, a dress. I got this Talbot's dress. It's mm, what is this giraffe? Dr mm, I think giraffe. But it's just short sleeved knit dress i haven't found any dresses in forever that i was just happy to see something i could purchase because my dress bins have been getting depleted and my blazer bins are out of control completely out of control this is a fashion union which is 
probably some cheap online boutique brand, but it was 80 cents. And it's new at Tags. It was originally $35. But it's a black, long-sleeved, collared uh, dress. Pretty basic. Hopefully I can find a stock photo. Oh, thank you. Is it Leticia? Hopefully it's Leticia. Le Leticia? Probably Leticia. Retro, I think it means it looks older, but not just an older style. Okay, so it's like vintage, antique. There's like another word that's before vintage, though, but I can't... I can't remember what it is. This is Express, I believe. And Express is real hit or miss with me. Like, sometimes it sells for really good money and sometimes it doesn't. Size small. Black long sleeve dress with this, like, illusion neck detail on the front and the back. With the exposed zipper. Um, is that it from that? Yeah. I got this old navy dress. If it fits me, I might keep it, but probably not. It's an extra large. Green, long sleeve. Basic. I only buy old navy typically to resell if it's like cute or plus size. Usually in it's usually stuff like that. Like I'll buy it for me and if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. I don't know how these are going to do. <laughs> But they're 100% wool and they're Ralph Lauren and they probably retail for like a lot of money. Um, they're a size 12 and they're a houndstooth, a houndstooth wide leg pant. Like she's, she's groovy. Like she's serving a lot. But I love them. <laughs> so we will see how they do. <laughs> Hi, Andrea. <laughs> we will see how they do. Um, and hopefully they do well. Banana Republic, Zero Petite Pants. These are the Martin Fit. They're like a cream oh, wide leg pant. Uh, Halogen, size 10. These are a black like legging pant, you know? Thicker than a legging, but pretty much a legging. Like a nice pair of leggings. These are size 10. So it's what a large. Medium large. Um, I got these JM collection pants just because they were new. 80 cents, size 12. And they're like a gray dress pant slack. And then these are by Loft. They are a size 4. And they're a black skinny jean. Basic, but necessary. Oh, and I got one more pair of pants in here. Oh, these are American Eagle. I'll probably put these on auction. Uh, they are size double zero. <laughs> and they are a tan skinny jean. A stretch skinny jean. These feel comfortable. I have so many loft pants. Marissa fit, modern fit, curvy fit, petite, tweed, wide leg, straight leg, cropped, whatever you need in a loft pant. I got you. Corduroy. I'm just putting all these back. Okay, I got one bag left and then I'll be zen. This actually wasn't uh, that long a concept. I got a lot of like the same, you know what? This is a lot of shit in this bag. I got a lot of like the same stuff though. So I feel like it went pretty easy. Look how beautiful those colors are. Beautiful. These are skirts, of course. Uh. Oh, this is probably, yeah, the highest retail thing I definitely got. 
This probably retails for like over seven hundred dollars. Oh, and I got it for four dollars. It's Armani Collezioni size ten. I'm surprised they didn't mark this up. They usually mark Armani Collezioni blazers like twenty five, thirty dollars at my thrift store, but this one was at five, so I got it for four. There goes a the tag. It's a velvet. A velvet blazer with this like ribbon uh, looped through. There's a little button right here so you could close it if you want to, you know, a little, you know, close it, you know. But yeah, she's she's okay. Somebody at a point in time paid crazy money for this. And now she's in the thrift store and I'm getting her for four bucks. Um, I'd be happy if this sold for 40. Should I be happy if this sold for 30? I paid $4. Um, okay. So if I was still on thread up. I'd send it to thread up, but we're not dealing with them. I got two banana Republic skirts. This one is a four. I think they're both wool. Yeah. 68% wool. It's like a circle skirt, tan, basic, $25, uh, Banana Republic, size two, it's probably a wool blend as well, A-line, basic, $25, $25, doll hairs, <clears throat> thank you, Amber, I was so happy to see that, literally, like, because I know, I mean, I don't know that it will sell, but it's definitely probably the best thing in this haul, retail-wise. Have I tried the Real Real before? No, I have not, and I do not plan on trying them either. I just don't feel like dealing with all that. It's just too much. And then that's another column in my spreadsheet. It's just too much. Too much. I'm cool. I'll sell it myself. This is J. Crew size six. Orange mini skirt. This is so cute. $25. Uh, this is locked. I'll probably list this at 20. It's a size two. And it's like a like a I wanna my brain immediately went to rhubarb. Yeah. It's like a rhubarb colored, um, like a raspberry colored corduroy skirt. And then this cute skirt. Is the limited and it's a blue little mini skirt. Wow, I think that made the vibration worse. I don't know if you guys can hear my phone vibrating. I'm gonna throw it like actually, you know what I can do? I'm just gonna mute this group I'm in, and that will solve the problem. Mute conversation for an hour. There we go. Okay, I got a little bit left. Uh, this is Vintage Talbot, size 8. Wool blend, plaid, mini skirt. Uh, this is another Forenza skirt, size 2. I like the print. I got this Chico's, I think it's like a golf skirt. It's definitely an athletic skirt, but I thought this was so cute because it's animal print. Uh, it's a size zero in Chico sizing, which I think is a small, smaller medium. Um, this is loft size 10. And it is a green long sleeve dress. Cute. Basic. Lots of basics. I'm like trying to make sure my Xbox doesn't turn off because I'm like hooked into this show. You feel me? Like deep hooked into it. Like it's good. And I'm not even done with the first episode yet. 
Oh, I have a couple more things to show you guys. <laughs> I'll probably spend the rest of the night watching this and then I have to finish listing some stuff. And then I'll be done. I almost took my stuff to the post office this morning. I'm so happy I didn't because I would have been pissed that I got there because they're closed. Um, this is Calvin Klein. I seen this last week. Last week it would have been $5. I'm like, eh, mm, condition's not the best. So I got it this week when it was 80 cents. Um, it just feels like a little bit of wear, but it's Calvin Klein size six and it's like a belted coat. I'm not going to sit here and button it all up, but I'm not going to leave behind a Calvin Klein coat for 80 cents unless the Calvin Klein coat is covered in lint. I do not do that anymore because you want to know what's under lint? Stains. That's what's under lint. Um, my keyboard, I had all these clothes on it, so it just started typing a bunch of random stuff. Oh, the game I'm talking about is called Darwin's Game, and it's on Funimation. If you are interested and you like anime, if you don't like anime, it's not going to be for you, but... Oh, it's so good. Have you seen Gantz? <clears throat> it's like Gantz, like video game to real life type stuff. You feel me? That makes sense. I got this because it was plus size, Lane Bryant. So I get my thrift store, there's a little bit of plus size in the regular stuff, but they do have a big plus size section. I just don't ever go through it. Um, this is a size 28, and this was a 28, like. Like a 3X, 4X. Um, I paid $2 for this. Because I don't really have any of that size. So it's just nice to have. And I thought it was cute. It's a plaid a double button blazer. And it has this little like ruffle detail in the back. It's an older Lane Bryant tag. But I don't think this style is like super dated or anything. Uh, I guess I got one last thing to show you guys. Yeah. Which was also a good find, too, for 80 cents. It is a Banana Republic coat. It's an extra small. And it's like a, it's an older tag. It's like a blue trench coat, though. Or er, trench coat, raincoat. Mm. A trench, a trench, right? A trench. It's belted. Anyways, for 80 cents, wasn't going to leave that there either. So, those are my 50 items. That was not my longest haul, but definitely one of my biggest. Um, you know, even if these skirts right here sell for $15 a piece, I will have made my money back pretty much. So, yeah. We're not mad at that. Um... Yeah, that's all I have for you guys. Does anybody have any questions before I go? I'm like trying to figure out where to put this because every week I usually just throw everything in a pile and then I have to pick everything up and drag it in the other room. And I don't really like having I don't really like having things in here because this is not my office, you feel me? Any questions before I go? I'm just trying to hold them. My crazy pants that I got last week, they're very comfortable and amazing. Probably my favorite pants that I own now. Um, me and my keyboard. My B key stopped working. It didn't stop working. I just had to like press down super hard. And I'm sitting here, like, racking my brain. What is the problem? What is the problem? And then a couple days later, I turned my computer off and restarted it. And my key works again. And my boyfriend, he was like, how long has it been since you turned off your computer and restarted it? I was like, probably over a month for sure. <laughs> Definitely probably over a month. Um, I have Tracy. <laughs>
I'm leaving now. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me. Um, if you're interested in purchasing anything, like shoot me a message. You can message me on Instagram or you can leave me a comment after this video goes, um, after it processes and whatever. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys next week, 6 p.m. EST. There's no reason for me to not be here. So yeah. Peace out, guys. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day.